everyone! Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be unboxing and trying on the products in the BoxyCharm Premium for September of 2022. Now if you're unfamiliar with BoxyCharm Premium, this is their upgraded monthly subscription which comes with more premium products than their regular base box. This box is $39.99 a month and does come with six full-size beauty products inside. You do get to make two choice selections in the premium box and BoxyCharm picks the other four products for you. Now, this is my PR box, so this was sent to me free for review, so I didn't get to make any of the choices in this box, but I do also pay for the premium box, so later this month I will be unboxing that on the channel if you want to see the paid for version. I did also forget to mention that it's $39.99 a month, and then BoxyCharm has also added on a $1.99 handling fee to all of their subscriptions as well. If you're new to my channel, welcome or welcome back. My name is Katrina, and I am a sub box lover. I love to share subscription boxes with all of you sub box lovers out there. So if you like subscription boxes, unboxing videos, beauty videos, things like that, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on a future upload. When you open up the premium box, this is what it looks like. This month's theme is Strut Your Runway, and on the back it does list all of the products inside the box with their retail values and a little description, and then it does also have the variation. I have variation number 201 for my PR premium box. Now, like I said, this is also going to be a try on video, so right now all I have on is my base face makeup, but I do like to preface all of my try on videos by saying that I am not a beauty guru, I am not an MUA, I'm just a normal, regular human being trying on makeup, so it's not gonna be professional or perfect, but hopefully it will be fun. All right, let's get things kicked off right here with a nice big old palette. This is the Iconic London Desk to Dance Eyeshadow Palette, which retails for $62, and is a BoxyCharm exclusive. And when you open it up, that is what it looks like. It does have a full size mirror there and all of these really pretty shades. Now, majority of these shades are shimmer shades. I think there's only four mattes. So there's, that's a matte, that's a matte, and these two are mattes? One, two, oh, these two are mattes. So that, like that, that, and that. Um, everything else is a shimmer, but these are really, really pretty. So let's play with this. So I kind of know what the lip color in this box is going to be. There is a lip product. So I'm going to kind of base the look to go with that because in my, one of my videos the other day, I think it was the Lux. The lip and the eye did not match. Um, so if you haven't seen that, I did also already post my base box and my Lux box PR videos, so you can check those out and see those try-ons. So I'm going to start off with the shade I've Arrived, and I am going to work that into my crease and on just my lid. Okay, instantly we have some fallout. All right, there we go. So there's a little bit of kickback in the pan, a little bit of fallout. But I actually really like the way that that color shows up on the eye. It blends really, really nicely. It doesn't look very patchy. Now, it is a little bit lighter than what it is in the pan. But that being said, I think it is still a really pretty color. Like I said, there's a lot of shimmers. So we're going to go into this dressed up shade, which is a little bit darker of a red. And I know, I don't know, I normally don't use a lot of shimmers in my crease, but we're going to use that shimmer in my crease today. Next up, we're going to take this shade Magnetism. It's a nice little shimmer shade, and we're going to put that in the center of the lid. And then we're gonna take this shade My Crush, this nice little light pink, and we're gonna take that from the inner corner and work it into the center of the lid. All right, so there is the shadow. I actually really love the way that this looks on the eyes. I think it performed really well. I really like the formula of the shimmers. There's not as many mattes, but I do like that as well. So this is definitely one where I wanna play around more. This is not necessarily the look I was expecting to make. There's so many fun. You can do a nice little purple look. Um, uh, these really pretty like darker deeper shades would be fun for a nice little fall look again I'm doing this to hopefully go better with the lip that we have but I like it I think the formula is good I like the way that it looks and I'm excited to play around with it more all right so I threw on some winged liner now the next product is a liner but we're going to use it in a different way so this is from Dear Midnight and this is their star-crossed eyeliner duo which retails for $38 and is a new launch so you get two different shades one of them is Blackest Night, so it's just a black liner. Then the other one, which is the one we're going to use, is in Starlight, which is a silver. So these are just like standard gel liners, which is really fun. So I'm just gonna use this to put this in my under, and 
my, the bottom waterline. Um, I would have loved to do like a fun thing with it, but because I went with the reds, I feel like this is just, I'm gonna use it in my waterline and see how that works, but you could do so many fun things with this. So it's probably gonna be so subtle that you won't be able to tell on camera, but it, it does brighten up the underwater line. I would love to do more fun things so that I just went more warm toned with this look. I don't use a ton of these like crayon top type liners, but I think I'll play around with this silver one a little bit more. What I will say is it's not like ultra pigmented. Like I definitely see it. I almost wonder if I go under the waterline if you'll see it better. Uh, you see it, but it's not like super intense of a silver. It's a very subtle silver. So um, not mad about it. I think I'm a little bit disappointed in the color payoff because I'm like, oh, a silver. This could be so fun. We get a lot of blacks. The standard black is a standard black, but I definitely want to play around with this more, though I am getting the feeling that like it's definitely showing up as silver, but it's not like you could do a fun like silver line because it just doesn't. Yeah, you can tell. I just swatched it on my hand. You're not even barely going to be able to see that. Where is it even? It's right there. So it's not going to be a really intense pigmented super, I mean, if you like, I mean, even with me like really going in on it, you can't see it a ton. So eh, I'm a little bummed on that one because that could have been really epic. Um, the black liner is a black liner, so <laughs> we get so many black liners. I'm not super worried about that one, but okay, a little disappointed, meh. All right, up next we have a product from One Size by Patrick Starr, and this is their Brow Kiki Micro Brow Defining Pencil, which retails for $19, and I got mine in the shade Medium Brown. Ooh, it's in a really fun, pretty red packaging. Now again, I didn't pick um, this um, or anything. They picked it based on what they have on me, because, but I think this was a choice item because of the shade. Now, I think this will work for me. Normally, I, I don't know if I go for medium brown, um, but I think it'll work for my brows, so let's fill them in. And it's just like a really small um, applicator. Well, I guess this is micro brow pencil, so that would make sense, right? <laughs> All right, and before I talk about it, I am just gonna set it with a brow gel, that way my brows have a better shape. All right, there are my brows. I really like the pencil. The pigment went on really quick and easy. It's probably a little darker than what I would normally do for my brows. Now, if I had my natural hair grown out, which you can see at my roots, I need to get my hair done at some point. Um, it's still darker than that, but I think I can probably pull it off when that's you know, done, but if I had like freshly dyed blonde hair, I don't think that that would work the same way. But again, that's only because I think you get to pick your shade. I think that's only because it's PR. But what I will say is I really like the formula from the way it applied and the way that it's on. Now how it lasts throughout the day, I obviously am not sure on, but this is a product that I will regularly use. I just kind of whip, 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 like put a little in, in my brows because I already have really long brow hair, so I don't have to be as precise. And normally I think people who use these more thin things are trying to get the actual brow hairs because I already have pretty thick brows. I don't necessarily have to worry about that, but I do like it. It was really easy to apply. I really like that product. All right, up next is a product from Benefit Cosmetics, and this is their California Kissin Color Balm, which retails for $21, and I got my shade, mine in the shade Poppy. Oh, wow, wait, the packaging on this? Well, it kind of looks like a tampon applicator now that I'm looking at it. But <laughs> other than that, it's really cool. Um, so it just opens like that. I f it has this, it has like a lady's face on it on the inside. I don't know why I'm putting that on my finger like that, but I feel like it's the best way to see it. Um, it's cool. I do feel like you would get like lipstick all on the inside. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is why I went with a red eye because it's a red lip. So because it's a what do they call it? A balm? A color balm? I'm curious to see like how pigmented this is going to be, but it is red. So, and I guess you twist it up this way. Yeah, you twist it up with that bottom little like floral notch. So let's try this on. Well, that is very red. In fact, now my eyes don't look red <laughs> because this looks super red. Maybe I shouldn't have done a red look with a red lip, but here we are. It happened anyway. Um, it has a light a light fruity type of lipsticky scent. Very, very comfortable, very pigmented for a balm. More like a lipstick, but it has a nice sheen to it. Like it doesn't, it's not matte, it's really nice. Um, up close it might be a little bit patchy, but because of the sheen you can't really tell. I think it's really pretty. When I have this like bright of a color though, I usually prefer a matte because I'm just afraid it will get everywhere. But I think it's super duper pretty. I feel like my eyes go to my lips because it's this like, it's not a neon red, but it's kind of like a neon, neon red. Um, 
I don't know if I love it with the eyes now that I see them together, but I don't think I was, I, I, when I saw Balm, I didn't think it was gonna be this pigmented if I'm fully honest. So that's a fun surprise. I think the packaging is really, really fun. So I like it. I don't know if I wear red, I will wear red all the time. I, I'm curious what other shades they have of this cause I would be super interested in this in another shade. I think this is gorgeous. I just don't wear red a ton. Um, but that being said, I do like it. All right, up next we have a product from Glam Glow and this is their Super Cleanse Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser, which retails for $32. So this is what it looks like. I'm assuming it is sealed. Yes, so I'm not gonna open it up. Um, I love a good cleanser. So this is a powerful blend of three charcoals to detoxify skin by removing pore clogging debris, excess oil, and face makeup. I am somebody who has oily skin, who has clogged pores and all that kind of stuff. So for me, this sounds really, really nice. I do like their some of their other like products in this line. Um, so I'm excited to try it out. I've never tried this cleanser before and it's a good size cleanser as well. How much is this? It is five ounce, a five ounce cleanser. So really great product to get from Glam Glow. And I think this is a great product for the premium box and for my skin personally. And the very last product in the box is this one here. It's from Elemis and this is their Superfood Fruit Vinegar Liquid Glow, which retails for $36. Now I'm gonna be honest, that fruit vinegar piece of this, I don't know how I feel about that, but let's pull it out. And this is what it looks like. It has one of those like little like, you put the thing on it and pump it down like your little cotton bud or whatever you use for it. So let's read more about this. It says that this is infused with glow getting AHAs derived from apple vinegar, apricot, and peach. The gently exfoliating formula reveals a radiant, smoother looking complexion with improved clarity and texture. It's a refreshing toner that removes every trace of visible pollution and helps minimize the appearance of pores. It's also a natural prebiotic that helps support and maintain skin's microbiome whilst prickly pear cactus nourishes the skin with vitamins and antioxidant rich nutrients. Um, it's mild enough for twice a day use apparently and this is a glow boosting toner that leaves skin feeling balanced and looking radiant okay two times a day definitely make sure that that works for your skin if you have more sensitive skin that might not work um so use a cotton pad press down on the pump and saturate and you swipe across, across your face and neck i'm actually really excited about that i'm curious if it has like a scent to it oh it does oh it does smell kind of fruity i don't want to like open it up because you can't open it up i don't want to like have it spill it everywhere it sounds like it could be messy but it does kind of have a fruity scent to it which apple vinegar apricot and peach you would think it would and it does kind of smell like that apricot and peach i don't smell like an, a huge vinegar scent which is refreshing okay i just uh, okay it's just got it all over my hands uh oh what did i do wrong it smells good though i will say that so like i said that is everything in the premium box for september so for $39.99, you get a little exfoliating toner, you get a lip or a lip balm, you get a cleanser, you get a um, eyebrow pencil, you get two eyeliners, and a really nice palette for $62. This alone retails $62, which is crazy. So personally, I actually think this was a really, really good premium box. Again, this is the PR box, the one that's sent to me. I do also pay for the box and will be unboxing that one later this month so we can see if it's any different. But definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of this premium box? Do you know what you're getting in your premium box? I would love to hear down in the comments below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on a future upload. And I'll see you in my next video.